So Shai, what did you know about this investigation or what do you know about it? Well, Major League Baseball, when they were made aware of the allegations, hired an external law firm to conduct an investigation. Uh, they went through their process and they presented their findings to the commissioner, Rob Manfred, uh, at which point he sorted through that and came to the conclusion that Roberto Alomar had been in violation of league policies uh, and therefore the discipline that was issued against him was warranted. So uh, that was the process. That's how the, we landed in this spot. Uh, and you know we can assume that since it was an external law firm that was hard to do it that there was a, a pretty thorough process involved. Do we know anything like a little bit more about the timing of this all or where it happened or anything? <laughs> Uh, not not too much, and uh, I think both Major League Baseball and the Toronto Blue Jays are trying to be uh, cognizant of uh, protecting the privacy of the individual involved. Uh, and so therefore, uh, we, we haven't gotten too much on that front. Uh, the uh, Toronto Blue Jays did mention that it occurred in 2014. Uh, that's something that I'm sure that they're going to, to look at in terms of, uh, you know, why, uh, why the reporting process took so long and if there was something that they could have done to have helped speed up that timeline. Uh, but beyond that, we don't have too many details. What has the follow been like so far since this news broke? Well, it's been uh, quite significant, obviously. Uh, Major League Baseball uh, immediately terminated their contract uh, with Roberto Alomar, who'd been a consultant for them and their work in Puerto Rico. Uh, he had also been a member of the commissioner's competition committee, a very influential body, and uh, obviously he's no longer part of that. Uh, but you know that's part of being placed on the ineligible list. Uh, you know he's not he's not allowed to work for Major League Baseball or any of its teams in the majors or minor leagues. Uh, therefore, the Blue Jays also were put into a position where they had to terminate their contract with him. Uh, but they went much further than that too. They took him off the level of excellence. They, they're taking down his banner uh, that's in the rafters at Rogers Center. And you know he's a, a celebrated part uh, of this team's history. He's really interwoven into the fabric of the franchise. Uh, and that is a, a very sizable step. Uh, the other significant piece of fallout came from the Hall of Fame. Uh, they said that at this point, uh, because Roberto Alomar was eligible for election at the time uh, when he was uh, selected for induction, that he, you know, he, they intend to keep his plaque in the Hall of Fame, uh, and they will leave other people to uh, to conclude that that election was based on the information available at the time. Now you kind of mentioned about the Hall of Fame stuff, and that his banner will be taken down and level of excellence at excellence rather at Rogers Center. How do you think, and then this will impact his legacy? I mean, I, I think this is, has become a. a a huge part of it, an unfortunate part of it, uh, will certainly taint his legacy uh, because you know, I, th I think that, you know, you, you're one thing that a lot of people had trouble or have had to do in a lot of ways and decide, you know, how much can you separate art from artist? And, uh, you know, I think, you know, Roberto Alomar is the author of some of the greatest moments in franchise history, uh, including his iconic home run off Dennis Eckersley uh, in the 1992 American League Championship Series, a, a moment that was really franchise altering. Uh, but you know, within that scope now, we understand that there's uh, another part of uh, another part of the story. Uh, there, there's a fuller examination and, you know, wider contextualization of the person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that for a lot of people, this is going to be difficult to recognize. You know, Roberto Alomar for a generation of Blue Jays fans is symbolic of success and good times and uh, some of the the greatest highs that this franchise has achieved. Uh, and, you know, I think when you look back on that, you'll you'll reflect on this as well and you know i think that's going to be challenging for a lot of people and obviously very impactful to his legacy uh and you know right now he's not eligible to participate to be a part of the game and you know that's obviously going to be a, a part of his story now as well when we look at major league baseball when it comes to sexual misconduct or sexual assault allegations this seems to be a growing issue within the league so i'm not sure whether it's a growing issue or whether we're just identifying an issue that was overlooked and not uh, and not really dealt with in the past, and you know I think that there's a recognition around baseball now that uh, you know a lot of things were allowed to slide in the past, and that that's no longer acceptable, and that the work there need to be conscious efforts to make the workplace safe uh, for women in particular, uh, since that's what we're talking about right now, and. Uh, that's that's a, a challenge across the game and you know the you know cultures don't change in a heartbeat 
and you know there there are a lot of uh, there I believe that there is a lot of uh, belief that among among certain men of accomplishment that they're entitled to behave in certain ways and uh, they'll and are consequence free as a result of their stature within the game uh, and that is clearly changing and you know this may be uh, uh, you know I would hope I think we'd all hope with a bit of a turning point in terms of recognition that there are consequences to misbehavior uh, that uh, workplaces have to be kept safe uh, for everybody there's a level of decorum and respect that's going to be afforded to everyone uh, and and maybe this is a, a bit of a I'd hate to say I hate to say turning point but just a you know a moment where it sets in for people that yeah even if you're a hall of fame player uh and beloved uh, across the game and uh you know across uh, across across the continent uh, you you are not you are not free of consequence